Phrasal verb in English. What is phrasal verb? Phrasal verb is a group of words like verb plus adverb or verb plus preposition. Hi there friends. Welcome to Indonesian and English learning channel. I have a good news for those guys they really want to learn English. After this, I'm going to make some English videos about grammar and phrasal verbs. So in this lesson, I'm going to talk about some phrasal verbs in English. What is phrasal verb? Phrasal verb is a group of words like verb plus adverb or verb plus preposition. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about three phrasal verbs. The first one is come across. What does it mean come across? Come across somebody or come across something. It means to find something or to meet somebody by chance. For example, I came across an old friend yesterday. I met an old friend by chance yesterday, accidentally. Examples While she was cleaning, she came across your car key. While she was cleaning, she found your car key by chance. Actually, she was not looking for your car key. She found your car key accidentally. Number two, I have never come across anything like this before. What is it? I have never come across. It means I have never found something like this by chance before. What is it? Number three, whose pen is this? I came across it in the garden. Whose pen is it? I found it by chance in the garden. He is the most clever boy I have ever come across. He is the most clever boy I have met by chance. The verb come across somebody can be replaced by bump into somebody. I bumped into an old friend the other day in a bookstore. I bumped into an old friend, it means I came across or I met by chance an old friend the other day in the bookstore. Our second phrasal verb is look after. What does it mean look after? Look after means to take care of. Look after yourself. It means take care of yourself. Examples. She found that looking after two young children on her own was not easy. She found that take care of two young children on her own was not easy. Number two, who is looking after the house while you are away? Who is taking care of the house while you are away? The phone is expensive. You should look after it. The phone is expensive, you should take care of it. Number four, he was 16 and he felt that he was old enough to look after himself. He was 16 and he felt that he was old enough to take care of himself. 
My sister is still very ill and is being looked after by my parents. My sister is still very ill and is being taken care of by my parents. Look after also means care for. I care for my brothers. I look after my brothers or I take care of my brothers. They have all the same meaning. Our third phrasal verb is take after. Take after somebody. What does it mean take after somebody? It means to look like or behave like an older member of your family. Like, I take after my father. It means, I look like my father. I take after my father. Who do you take after? Your mother or your father? Who do you look like? Your father or your mother? Number two. She takes after her mother in looks. She looks like her mother. He is very musical. He takes after his grandfather in that respect. Number four. David doesn't take after his father at all. Number five. I am told I take after my father as we are both in passion. Be honest, who do you take after? Your father, mother, grandfather, or grandmother? Or maybe your uncle? This is the end of our lesson. Thank you very much for watching. You guys are really amazing. We will make more videos about Fraser Warp. So don't forget to subscribe our channel. Bye.